Eat delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Hi, this is Chef Pachi, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a delicious toast with salmon and kale. It's actually the salmon I had last night. First thing we're going to do is we're going to steam some kale. And I steam it in a baby cook. You can steam it just in a pan. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to wash our kale and remove the stem. The kale has to be washed carefully because it has a lot of ingredients. Kale and remove the stem. Then, if you don't have a baby, place a little bit of water onto a pan, then add a wrap. Your kale, bring that water to a boil and cover it for 50 seconds. That is it. Your kale is going to look as beautiful as this kale. No problem. I use the baby cook and it's a great thing for steaming. I even use in any case, in any case, now I reheat my toast and this time I'm using some gluten-free toast that has nuts and raisins. I love that sweet and sour combination and this is it. So I've been doing some toast today, so I've had my pan in real hot. This is the salmon I had last night. If you look at it carefully, you'll see it's shiny and moist. And that's because yesterday I was making sure it was not dry or overcooked. That is the single most important thing when you know you're going to use half of your food for the next day. So I add my cold piece of salmon and just press the panini. And if you don't have a panini, just use the pot cover. Look at it now. Look at all the moisture that came out of that salmon. That's what I was talking to you about. When we reheat foods, it's very important not to leave them dry. Otherwise, they're not going to taste as good. This breakfast or light dinner is out of this world. I promise you, it's amazingly delicious. So we add to our toast our salmon. or you can use a tortilla. Now that we have our kale steamed and it's lightly steamed because we want it to hold its shape. We don't want it to be like one we could buy frozen. You can use frozen one, but if you're gonna buy the fresh vegetable, you want the best of it. So just lightly steam it. Look at it, it's beautiful. It holds its shape, dark green, shiny, it's amazing. Incredible this tastes like. I usually have kale with a little bit of pistachio oil and a tinge of salt. And I love it. Now today we're gonna mix it with some pickle ginger. And I have the white pickle ginger. This is slightly sweeter than the pink pickle ginger. All you have to do is serve this beautiful kale with your pickle ginger. They go amazingly well together. These two flavors are a must. You're gonna love it. Any day of the week. With Chef Pachi, delicious diets are sustainable diets. Enjoy!